The first thing to do is to give him a fake name. I've decided on Pastor James Collins. James is fitting as it's a religious name, but even better, it gives him the very biblical initials of JC. I know that when we make inroads to America, people are going to ask questions and investigate his background, so the next step is to create a fake website. Pastor James needs to have an identity and a history that would look real to anyone looking him up on the internet. And like other faith healers, Pastor James has a ministry, which I've decided to call the Gifts of the Spirit. And what's the reason that his soon-to-be congregation in America hasn't heard of him before? Well, that's because he's been healing the sick in Africa. Within days, giftsofthespiritministry.com is up and running. Feel free to check it out yourself after the show. My team spends weeks trying to convince over a hundred Texan churches to allow Pastor James to preach his gospel to their following. Hi there, I'm calling from uh, Big Wonder Films. I represent uh, Pastor James Collins. This will help establish Pastor James's credibility and will also enable him to publicize the big revival event we're planning to stage at the end of our week in Texas. And they're just not, they're just not responding at all. However, not one church returns our calls or helps in any way. So we decide to hire a Texan Christian PR company run by a guy we're going to refer to here as Peter to protect his identity. By using Peter and his contacts, it is our only chance to guarantee an audience for our final show in Dallas. We need this man's help. Nathan, a scuba diving instructor, will need a whole new range of skills to pull this off. And so I've put together a small team of specialists that will help me teach him everything he needs to know. This is Jeff Coleman, who's head of acting at the prestigious Central School of Speech and Drama. I'm a little bit terrified about the task in hand. I'm hoping Jeff can help me turn Nathan into a faith healer by installing techniques a method actor would use to prepare for a role. So it's light and it's joyful. Mark Havel is a Christian who used to be active in the faith healing movement and has since turned against it. I went out to churches holding services and did exact same things that you see on TV with his televangelists. And Woody Woods is a musician who was involved in the faith healing movement for 20 years until he became increasingly uncomfortable with how manipulative he perceived these services to be. The music always follows a certain pattern. Really, really fast songs to start off. The congregation would be whipped into a frenzy. After that, they go around with the offering, you know, telling people to sow their seed. Right, thank you very much. I ask Woody to teach Nathan how the services are actually run. Even though it doesn't have to be rigid, there has to be some, you know, a particular order of how it's done. I want you to give authority to that voice, Kiko. Thank you for the sun in the sky. He's basically already trying to break down the way I talk normally so I can really sell myself as a preacher. Ready for more work? I need Nathan to sound like he's been preaching for years, so I ask Mark to train him intensively in the scriptures and show how they can be twisted to suit the motives of a faith healer. What you're getting today, as opposed to last week, are heresy lessons. Right. So there's a very real and serious side to this in terms of you are talking about real faith versus something which is effectively a counterfeit. And then you're looking out the audience and you're seeing these pockets of light in people. I work with him on his act. The Lord showed me this here. Can you see that? If I, that's hot. And a whole variety of tricks that I believe are being used. I do take my hat off to him because he's trying to learn something that takes years to learn. Pray, he's going to be healed. Yeah. He's going to be healed. I have moments where I'm feeling more prepared and then I think I have moments where you just realise, well, actually, I've only just learned a little bit and that just means I've learned that there's a whole lot more that I need to know. But there are so many little details that could slip him up, such as his Ugandan background. So Nathan has to squeeze into his already packed schedule, learning some basic Swahili. Kahawa. Coffee? Deal. I don't think he realises how much work he's got to do. It's really a huge challenge. I think we'll do it. Actually, I hope, almost hope and pray that we will. To know that these people are being abused or mistreated because of their faith is, is disgusting. So I feel responsible to do this job as well as possible. Darren needs your help to expose this cruel scam by becoming a faith healer yourself. Nathan, are you ready for the performance of your life? What's particularly terrifying about this is that we can't say that it's a Darren Brown show, let alone what the show actually is, because everything has to be top secret. If any of this gets out, it just blows the whole project. 